Hey guys, Dave Matt Max Six here. Um, I want to uh, say a few words before this next episode of uh, Ask the Doc. So, number one, uh, Dr. Ryan and I wanted to thank you for watching the show, make it so popular. It's really taken off, and uh, we really appreciate your feedback and your questions. And for most part, they are very, very question, good questions. But what I want to say is a few things. Number one, uh, before you submit your question, please review all the existing show already because a lot of material have been covered and a lot of time people are sending me questions that have been answered already so I cannot ask the same questions over and over to the doc so make sure to review the previous shows before you submit the questions that they're born also um, usually when I shoot with Dr. Ren it's maybe once every three or four weeks so he's not uh, he, he has he's really busy so I don't have access to him on a weekly basis like I do with with Eric Broser or, or some other people so uh, please be patient when you submit a question. Uh, usually what we do is we shoot for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. We can answer about 10 to 12 questions at a time. And usually what I'll do is I'll I'll do each show about two to three questions, which lasts about 15 to 20 minutes. So it might take a while before your question is answered and actually uh, put on the channel. So uh, don't uh, don't despair if it's a good question. Usually uh, I will I will uh, I will ask the doctor. And also, um, I always answer everybody who sends me an email concerning your questions. But please uh, take, uh, be patient, and uh, we will answer your question in due time. And that's it. Thanks for watching the show, guys. Doc, what is TB500? Um, I've been told it's similar to growth hormone. Um, from what my friend says, it promotes creation of new blood and muscle cell. He also says uh, that the friend of his got shredded on it. Um, what do you think of it? Uh, TB500 is thymosin 4 beta, I think, something like that is another name for it, and, and I think this is the peptide name for it, but uh, the thymus gland tends to uh, not function as well as we get older, and um, the research I think is done mainly in horses, so I don't think we have a lot of research with with humans yet, as I recall, I may be wrong, but it's supposed to help actin, um, the, the formation of actin in the muscle fiber, which obviously would help. Uh, I guess to it, get leaner if you're making, if you're repairing your muscle tissue better, and of course, endo, any endothelial factors to help, uh, you know, blood flow to the muscles would be helpful. It's supposed to help with um, uh, cell migration and proliferation. Uh, but I think more specifically, it's 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 in the the uh, the muscle fiber itself to create more actin. So in that way, yeah, I could see it being used for uh, reduction of inflammation and repair of muscle. And of course, if you repair muscle, the more muscle you have, the more you're burning calories even while you're sleeping. So I could see somebody getting more lean if over time they're building more muscle. But I wouldn't think of it necessarily as as a uh, a fat burner or something like that. But or a GH replacement. Or something like some more. Yeah, not uh, yeah. I mean, again, it's a different mechanism totally than than the way GF, uh, GH or IGF one would work. So uh, when you say replacement, it's definitely not working by the same mechanism. But again, I think, I mean, sometimes, I think sometimes people send us questions uh, such as this TB five hundred with and keel and keel a bit earlier before because they're trying to find out. Okay, I can't afford GH or I can't take GH. It's not accessible to me. Whatever. What could I use instead? So they come up with those, you know, roundabout, and they don't always uh, realize some more will be better or something else will be better. I mean, the guy who mentioned the MK3, you were actually kind of uh, impressed with that one, and you're going to research it more, you know. So I think these people are just hearing about from a friend or whatever about certain peptides, or and they're like, "Well, is this good?" Is this? And I think that's what we're dealing with. Well, here. that's the market. I mean, that's that's why <laughs> that's why the market is building up for these so-called uh, well. Here so far, mainly illegal peptides, mm -hmm. because people want to either avoid the doctor, mm -hmm. uh, Pay us money. Know, the gatekeeper, if you yeah. will, uh, or it's not legal, and they say, "Well, let me try a better way." Uh, some of it's from frustration, some of it's uh, misplaced, obviously, because again, it could be just the training technique is off. But you know, it's also human nature. I agree to to see if we can find a better way, and and medicine is trying to manipulate. The body in a way that we want to to manipulate it um, you know people get caught up in the uh, natural or normal it's natural and normal to get sick and die one day so uh, <laughs> I love what you, say you know that. whether it's the, the the discovery of the you know, penicillin and how that works or um, you know the way we use testosterone uh, the way we're finding out that stem cells work I mean the idea is to improve 
the quality of life, to repair the human body, and, 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 and uh, also, if we can, uh, improve longevity as well. So these peptides are, are exciting. Uh, I don't know if, I, I think what we need is the pharmaceutical companies to, to latch onto these and start doing some research. Mm -hmm. As I said, with the TB500, there isn't a whole lot of research that I found. A patient of mine asked me about that probably a year ago. And I dug into it, and again, I think the studies were mainly with horses, the best ones, mm -hmm. and uh, why people aren't pursuing that more, people being the pharmaceutical companies or some private individuals, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's not enough money. In it. I, I, again, I apologize mm -hmm. if I can't give a more thorough answer, but the problem is, particularly from a med you know, wearing the medicine hat, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of standards by which we come up with answers. In other words, we, we ethically, I can't tell you that something works uh, and, and, and probably more importantly, it doesn't harm you until we've done sufficient studies that are typically uh, double blind, placebo controlled studies. Mm -hmm. So that's again why I put the disclaimer on there. This is all kind of hearsay, if you will, but I'm just giving you the information I have, yeah. uh, you know, doing, a, doing the research that I'm asked to do so often and enjoy doing. Yeah. Because uh, patients are always asking about the latest and greatest. Yeah. So maybe next time when we meet again, we we uh, we get an update on the MK uh, thirty three. MK six seven seven. Yeah. TB five hundred. Yeah. Because you seem to really dive. like that one. All right. Thank you so much for talking to no, us. No, my pleasure. Please.